Can you? Okay. All right. We are on. Okay. Well, um, we are um, we are calling this meeting to order at 10:07 a.m. Welcome, and there are no lobbyists because it's just. So we will move on to item number uh, E for uh, discussion and planning for a committee, a community outreach and board member recruitment at the street fair. So what, in, in light of uh, the fact that we will be in front of the public, this is a unique opportunity to us as our, we've lost a couple board members to do some outreach in, in addition to, you know, with our giveaway. So thoughts, the floor is open, it's all yours. I would put a sign up to plant the seed, interested in joining, Mm -hmm. And then just, you know, put a little quick blurb about, you know, here's your chance to serve the community. I think people walking by might see that and go, hmm. and um, yeah, then we could interview them right there on the spot. And tell them yeah. if got the position or not. And verify the boundaries, <laughs> of course. And, and it's a good, you know, we, we have, that's, I think you all experienced that at the street fair. People come by and they don't actually know which territory they live in. They'll say, well, I live in Granada Hills, but they're not sure. A lot some, of people. A lot of some yeah. don't even know there's a South Council. That's why we get some people contact us. So they might be like a poster board just to, to let people know that the, the possibility of them, because they might not even be thinking about it. They might just be thinking, oh, this is what you know, you're know you doing. And then you put the seed, like, are you interested in joining? They might put, then it's like, well, maybe this is something that you know I can do too. I didn't think about right. that. And, and what do you think about this? We did already, we already have funds approved for advertising and, and so forth. So what do you think about um, having a, like in the back of our pop-up, not obviously not the front, but in that, like the, the backdrop of our pop-up to have that message and then have a, a flyer, kind of a companion flyer to the I That's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. We can hand those to people and they can read it on their own, own time. Yeah. And we can, and we can explain uh, what qualifications. So if there's any question, they could see if they live in the right area or not. They'll see it on the map on the pamphlet. Okay. Okay. Do we have time yeah. to make those though? I, I, but because we, because, well, Brian will go to, um, I think it's home, home, uh, the other one, Office, Office Depot, Depot, where we have the account and he'll have that, those two, the, the banner printed and the, um, the flyers printed and that way we'll have them and we can either put them if we're giving away a grocery bag or we still have those regular plastic bags i don't think the stadium bags are going to make it but quite a few items did make it so we can hand them out with whatever giveaway and one of those little generic plastic bags with our name on it we could do that so that way they have it in their hand and they also we can engage in conversation and uh, I'm encouraging all the committee chairs to attend so they can speak on their own individual committees so people kind of understand what's open. We'll have them listed as well because we can't guarantee all committee chairs will be there at one time. But this way, it you know, because some people like outreach, some people like plum, some people like public safety, and some people like the, uh, you know, government issues, citywide issues. So there's a little bit of something for everyone. And so uh, that would be very helpful. That's a good point that, that needs to be pointed out too. Cause like, you know, um, like my wife says, when she was in high school, people were like, oh, are you gonna go to law school? In her mind, there was only one type of lawyer. You went to court and you fought in court. Right. She had no idea that there was corporate lawyers and other ways, you know, she didn't know. She said, I wish I had known this. So sometimes you need to explain to people that there are other aspects that they're just, they don't understand what we do. They don't understand what is available to them. and. Like you said, I think it's good to, to lay out that there's different paths within this, you know, that you can participate in. I think that'll, you know, because they might have some idea in the head, like, oh, I'm going to have to be public speaking. I can't public speak. And it's right. like, no, you're, you're not public speaking. So we right. just need to let them know more specifically. And we can even put a guarantee that the first year that they join, that Brian will not attack them about anything that they say. It's a one-year guarantee. <laughs> well, well, to your point, uh, I actually, uh, I, I didn't mention, because as a part of, it was a, there was a statement made at one of the meetings that, well, we can't speak, but in the, in the outside of the meetings, but when Oscar and I are putting the agendas together and we're trying, and we're engaging, answering emails and so forth, you know, we do have to speak on this. And so the concern was, 
um, we do want to be transparent in that, you know, everyone, we have to understand um, the community, if we attack the community, they're not gonna be interested. So we have to be nice to them. That's a part of our, and that's what I, for the last five years being on this neighborhood council, I take that publicity part seriously. So how we, how we work together in front of the public and how they, how they feel in our presence is so important. So if we're, you know, hey, we're, we're the outreach, if we all happen to be together at that time and we say, you know, we, we enjoy planning our, you know, we work through strategizing and planning our events. And sometimes we'll, we may work, you know, we may work on an item and then we might hold it back for a while, but we engage and we follow up. And, and I think something I think <laughs> we'll all agree on also, which I shared, which I shared with Oscar, is we do really have to try to work on that time limit of our meetings to try to keep it two hours once in a while something may occur on the public comment side that wait may push it to maybe two and a half but we really want to try to get away from that because my if we're going to as a part of that flyer it would be nice to put for those who don't want to join a committee it's a two-hour commitment sometimes and then speaking with them we can always say it sometimes it may run over if there's a a, a special issue going on in the community but we 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 don't want to discourage it by, you know, like a meeting is going to be three hours and then you've got to do all this extra. So um, for us, we can humbly say, you know, our, our specific committee meetings on an average are somewhere between a half an hour to an hour. And then if we are having an event, um, normally we try not to have a meeting um, in the same month so that we respect the time of the committee members. So what do you think about that kind of explaining what the time commitment so they understand what exactly they will be participating and how and since it is a volunteer role how much time um is being requested of them yeah it's, it's, it's good it's, it's good to give everybody all the information because they might have an idea that they might think like oh uh i can't give up 10 to 40 hours a week and then you're like right. well it's not 10 to 40 hours a week they might just have some idea in their head of how things work so i think it it's good to, to give them all the information and let okay. them decide, uh, you know, with okay. that okay. appropriate information. So what do we want this banner and flyer, as far as looking for board members, how, what would, what would we like that to say? What are your thoughts on that? I wanted to add something. Oh, go ahead. Um, so I was thinking, um, I mean, it's one of the key things of making a banner is it's, it, you know, it has to really grab the attention right so you know one of the one of the things that i've noticed in the last four years is you know more people have been motivated to get involved in the political process to make a change because mm -hmm. of how the political climate has really changed because that's why because that's why i joined the neighborhood council like i wanted you know i turned my passion of certain things that i liked and disliked into joining the board so maybe somewhere along the lines of you know here's your chance to put your voice into the community or something like granada hills north needs your voice and um, you know we would we would love for you to serve just somewhere somewhere along the along the lines of that. I I think something like that would grab their attention by putting a call to action. So saying something like Granada Hills North needs your voice, or here's your chance to put your voice into the community inquire today. About. Inquire, inquire, uh, let's see, have your voice heard, allow your voice to be heard, have a allow say in the your, process. Allow your voice to be heard and then just maybe closing it off with something like the time is now. So so then hey. you're not like making it, so, so you're not making it like, you're not like giving them that room to say, oh, you know, maybe I'll think about it like in a few months something like that it's no you want to add kind of 
not really the urgency of it, but just more of a call to action where it's more of the time, like, like the, like the time is now, just like how college students are spoken to. They're saying, no, the future is not in a couple of months, in a couple of years. The mm -hmm. future is now. The Which, time is now to have your voice heard. Um, or, or else. Or like. <laughs> what did what, you say? What was that, Jason? Because it said or else. <laughs> or else. <laughs> or else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, something simple like make your voice heard, make a difference in your community, or see, see a change um, in your community, you know, a, a local level or something. Make you your know, voice think, heard to see a change in your local community. Something like that, yeah. Or make your voice heard. Make a ch make a difference in your community. Make a change. Make the change you want to. You know, <clears throat> tandem off that like Gandhi quote, like, you know, be the change you want to be see. Be the change you want to see. Hey, you know what? Thing. We can um, borrow that from Gandhi. But I think it's important too, like piggybacking off of what you guys were saying, is to state, you know, why I got involved too. Um, is you know, I used to be involved when I was in Chicago and then moved out here, and then, you know, we got a house and and um, you know, always being involved in the community and yes, off of what AJ was saying about more of a call of like, you feel this urgency to make a difference and people feel helpless in today's political climate with all yes. the corruption, rampant corruption and everything going on. So it's like, you know, starting, knowing where to start and start starting on a small local level where you can actually see a difference being made and you have a team of people that are in it for the right reasons because there's no money involved. Right. You know, and I think that was a that was a huge selling point for me to like be a part of this. And also, um, you know, listing off of what you were saying before, I think it's also very important to clarify and put, you know, in a pamphlet or a map or whatever, uh, or have a map of, you know, if you live in this area or like, you know, have our boundaries, because I think a lot of right. people are confused. They don't know um, what's going on with where they live and they might be interested but they're in the south or you know some right. somewhere else um so i think it is important to make that like really clear and big to have that map and then also yeah the time commitments um and yeah you know you can err on the side of making it less um and then well, yeah. well i think we could put would... uh, um on uh on an average two hours commitment of then i would yeah. But but what I always like to do, you know, when I whenever it doesn't matter who I'm setting mm -hmm. expectations to, um, as sometimes our meetings do go over, right. I would just say maybe something like subject to subject to special special issues, special yeah yeah uh, special community issues. Even like yeah. two three, if you say like two to three hours, I mean that's still not a lot of time that's true and if, and if it's, it's not it, you know and and saying monthly board meeting you know is like yeah. minimal commitment or whatever and then plus you know committee you know whatever you know something like what you're passionate about in your community to to make a difference or to okay. you know like the any issues like that you would want to be a part of certain committees and then yeah we can explain that to them in person um, and I think it's really important too, and I've seen, you know, I think we're really pretty good about it, but I also think we could, yeah, everyone is always trying to be better, you know, and working on themselves, hopefully. Um, but, you know, no one, you know, emotions, sometimes if someone's passionate about something can get involved in certain issues when you're speaking. And it's sure. really important that we keep, I, I know we do, and especially be mindful of it being on publicity and outreach, because that's your you know, that's your function is to be able to communicate with people right. in a way that is, you know, sincere, compassionate, and you're opening their minds and having, it's all about attitude, you know, and like right. your attitude is reflects how you treat someone is how you're going to be treated. Right. And, and what goes wrong comes around that sort of thing. So it's, it's really important. I think that we be, we could always be more mindful of that. I think everyone, right. Right. but especially in this case, when we're recruiting people in the community to come on board and how we, and, and if they're like, okay, you know, discussing these specific issues and if they get into political issues or other things that, you know, yeah. that we kind of, that, that, that we address that in a way that's like, you know, very open to everyone that we're not, you know, having our personal beliefs or feelings get involved. Right. With that situation. Well, well said, Graham, because we've, we've had, um, 
we had a comment, AJ is on the Sustainability Alliance. And uh, tell them, tell, tell, share with Jason and Graham what, uh, what they said to you about our neighborhood council. They're, yeah. they're going back a few years, but yeah. Yeah, but I, um, I'll, I'm gonna share that. And then I just wanted to get to, to my next point, just kind of refocus on kind of the, the tension grabber on the ad. But um, yeah, when I um, got introduced to Lisa Hart, who's running the sustainability committee, like she was just kind of like asking, you know, what's motivating you to want to join this committee? So after like, I just told her about my background of working in renewables and how you know, it just motivated me to go beyond, you know, just me doing the work, but also serving the community. And then when she asked me like what neighborhood council I was from, I said, well, Granada Hills North well, are you sure that this is something you want to do? Your board is known to be very conservative and 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 tends to you know, be against sustainability. So I had to tell her, well, you know, I understand that, um, I guess, previous circumstances on the board, you know, kind of left a black eye in Granada Hills North, but I told her that I assure you that there's been a lot of change in recent years and what you saw then is not what is is not what it is now getting back to getting back to um what Graham said as far as the opening I would say close it with the time is now okay. um Okay. One um one one other thing that I I wanted to piggyback off of what Graham is saying because we have to understand like we just have to remind ourselves of the audience we're going to be dealing with because we're going to be dealing with people who have like even more so than before COVID who now are going to have a bad taste in their mouth about the city just overall, especially ever since this whole thing came out about, you know, Neri Martinez and the two council people. So we, so like for me, in, for, for me, for instance, if somebody starts going into that, I would just tell them, well, you know, I, I do understand with a lot of um, fortunate circumstances that are going on within the community that it's really that it's left it that that it's kind of left a bad um i guess a bad taste in in your mouth but if i could get 90 seconds of your undivided attention i would be happy to educate you on what on what it means to join granada hills north neighborhood council and I would just go along the lines of that, you know, we're about, we're about promoting unity within our community. And it's, you know, the work that, that what I've learned in here is that the work isn't just in voting, it's, it's also in either educating yourself on your candidate or getting involved in the political process. And if you want, and if you want to make a change, this is one of your opportunities to do that. So, you know, either, you know, you want to be a part of the problem or you want to be a part of the solution. Yeah. And, and the neighborhood councils, which, you know, we should, staying on our publicity focus here, but no one should really know our political views. We should have human, right. view, human views only. Right. And um, I, I, I it, this is a good time um, once we have the flyer, the flyer, um, I'm going to send it to the board in advance um, since the, since the uh, street fair is next Saturday and just say, let's please keep this nonpartisan as right. neighborhood councils are supposed to be. Because that's the reason why I think we all joined was because we didn't, we didn't expect to get into that. But we have had a reputation over the years, up to even when I was at first joined the board of being a quote unquote conservative neighborhood council. And some of the motion items some that turn up sometimes tend to have those, those views. And so we wanna keep that open and transparent for, for every stakeholder, no matter who they are, where they come from, or everyone has to be treated the same. That's yeah. why neighborhood councils are great. And to Graham's point, there's no money involved here. We're right. just using, putting our minds together to make change in our community. Right. I think. 
off of your point, that's super important. And I think, you know, we should, anyone that's going to be there at the booth or just, you know, representing us and speaking with the community and especially with this recruitment, you know, really has to hammer that point home if it comes up, but just like make sure that people know not to speak about your personal beliefs or, right. or you know, what you're talking about, not complete, completely nonpartisan and, you know, that's it. And, and if there's, you know, misinformation, you know, especially with a ton of misinformation, you know, out there, that's just running right. rampant these days. So it's, you know, it's, I think it's really important to keep our heads and really be mindful about what you're saying and, and how you're representing, you know, the board and the community. Right, right. Really? And, and, and regarding the, the, the latest um, um, political, the current city hall crisis, um, Council Member Lee's newsletter came out yesterday and it was very just, he stands in solidarity with his colleagues against uh, the, his other, the other three, uh, other two people who remain on the council and just, just leave it at that. And as, and there are um, the, uh, we were on the, um, the Valley Alliance of Neighborhood Councils on Thursday. And so this was, uh, this was a topic. So we, there, there is some discussion about files and investigations and things like that, but those are, uh, if SID is there because it's citywide issues, we can just defer that without having to have a heavy conversation about it. We have a citywide issues committee, which is known by a government, a known as a government issues committee on other neighborhood councils, which takes up those views and requests council files to be open for further investigation. So, so, yeah. You know, and I think by default too, if any, if anyone starts to, you know, probably is going to happen, starts to want to talk about any of these issues or go into things, you know, that's a perfect excuse to be like, well, come join the board and then you can discuss it there. Or we can, you know, we can address some of these issues together and right. not, you know, and it, whatever you're talking about and agendize them, you know, as far as that goes and kind of defer it to the board right. or at a later time instead of getting into it. With that. Right. And we also can say, um, which is, uh, it, this is, which is important. Um, there's a, there's a, the Ralph M. Brown Act requires that all items that are up that may be a future agenda item on our board agenda, we are, we cannot discuss those right. items. So feel free to join us and we can have this um, right. conversation before the public because the public must be informed. Okay, that's great. So we have, we want, um, we, it sounds like uh, make your voice heard, be the change you want to see, join Granada Hills North Neighborhood Council. The time is now. That's great. I like okay. it. Okay. All right. Very good. And then some bullet points, bullet points. Uh, and, the, and the map. Don't forget the map on there too. Yes, yeah. the, the, the boundaries map. I think there's one on our website. I have a couple somewhere. I'm going to get um, one that's 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 friendly for that space on the on the uh, flyer and uh put that on there do you think i mean is it is it possible because it's i don't know i just know what? that we got to go through the city to like post certain things on social media but what do you is mean it also is it also possible to use that ad that um you know Graham and I and all of us work together of, you know, be the voice or be the change that you want to see the time is now. That's okay. something that would be good on to, to, to put on social media, which I would like to do, but I'm just wondering, like, is there protocols that I have to follow with the Brown Act before I do that? That's no, because you know, you know what, to your point, um, and I'll share this, uh, the last time we were, I forgot what the reason was, we were looking for board members our webmaster actually had his own, um, like his own flyer that he uses for all the neighborhood councils he works with. And it just had a bunch of hands up and said, you know, we're, we are looking for board members. And that's nice, uh, but, but ours is a little bit more specific because the time is now, you know, with, with everything going on. And we have, as we have seen, we have made a, a huge difference in, in some of the motions that we have, we have approved and CISs that we've we've all um, approved as a board. So this is, and, and we could even talk about the community impact statement a little bit as well. Just just um, several talking points um, to consider. No one is, has to be locked into one, but yeah. to, all, to all of your points, if we have, you know, 
we're on the outreach and publicity committee and this you know this is one of our main events every year and we can talk about the docu shred event mm -hmm. and and so forth and then we can talk about ongoing plum issues if um, i think denisa will be there and so we would have her there to speak as well and then uh, nathan will be there to discuss public safety so i think we we have it we, we have a, a chance of doing some good recruitment you know um and then, you know, when it comes down to the election process, we might not have as heavy uh, uh, election um, outreach to do at that time if we do this outreach successfully, because you know, we'll have board members appointed. So it might help a little bit if we can if we can do that. Okay, great. So I think we have uh, definitely uh, mutually agree on that. So see what we could put that together and get, to, get get that to Brian for printing. And then, so do you agree that the banner on the, in the pop-up will match the flyer that we put in the, in the giveaways? So they have something to take home? Yeah. As well sure. as that. Yeah, because yeah, then they'll incentivize the call to action. Okay. Right. Ooh, that was a great discussion. Okay. All right, and then, um, okay, so item F, um, let's, let's actually take item J first, um, because I was actually thinking about um, Graham and AJ particularly on item J. Are you still okay with Saturday for the meeting day or is it a different day? I mean, I think Jason and I, I don't wanna speak for Jason, but I think, we may be a little bit more flexible. So what's everybody's thoughts on that? Yeah, I mean, Saturday typically is not really good for me. Um, uh -huh. because I'm usually traveling or have gigs late on Friday or, or I mean, just a lot of stuff going on on the weekends mm -hmm. really for events. Um, so, I mean, yeah, I'd prefer any other day is fine. But I mean, I could still, you know, like I've been trying to I've been making this work. So whatever. OK, OK, AJ. No, I think, um, I mean, at least for me, Saturday works just as already. We have a lot of, we already have our executive committee meeting once a month. And then we have, you know, the board meeting on Tuesday. I mean, I'm already doing the sustainability alliance once, you know, one Sunday a month. So, um, I mean, but if it has to be moved to the weekday, I'm open to it for me, at least I would need it to be either a Tuesday or a Thursday if possible. Mm -hmm. Jason, any thoughts on that? Are you no, uh, You're rolling with me on Saturday? <laughs> rolling with you on Saturday. Uh, for me, uh, yeah, I work Monday through Friday, I uh, get home. 6 30. I just got my HOV sticker for my car. So okay. that's gonna be a big help now. I can get in that carpool lane. Awesome. Uh, and nice. uh, coast on down the 170. So I should be able to sometimes the meetings I get home like just in time. You know, you're texting mm -hmm. me and I'm in the driveway and you're mm -hmm. texting me, Jason, where are you? And I'm like, come on, Karen. I just you know, How do you get the like, HOV. I got an electric car. Ooh. Nice. So, it's, it's so it has so it has to be a hundred percent like a plug-in plug -in. It, yeah it's a, it's a plug-in it's hybrid but it's also a plug-in and i do charge it i haven't put in gas for 2500 miles so i'm using electric only for the car um, right. so because i have a because i have a hybrid but it's not a plug-in there's a list about? that's why one of the reasons i chose the car um because my work they said because the work was paying for my gas and they're like the gas has gotten so expensive maybe and my lease was up they're like maybe we should just get an electric car and then not pay for gas so i went and i looked and then there's a list online and it my car I, I, that's why i found the cars that were qualified uh it's very easy to find if you just google like hov qualified cars it has the actual makes models by year it's weird because it kind of changes like some years some cars are in there and then like the next year like that car is like not included okay oh. so we're going to add an elect we're going to add an update from jason lester on that <laughs> <laughs> Just, yeah. so I, I so can, I, information. I should be able to make it yeah, okay. home a little bit earlier than 6 30 from now on because i'll be in that carpool lane. Okay. all right so why don't we do this so so Graham, so what we could do is if like if we know you have a gig then we could just 
depending on what's going on. If it's if we don't have yeah. anything earth shaking, we're not. We've all agreed a long time ago that we don't have to have a meeting every month. We can have a meeting yeah. kind of on an as needed basis. Well, and it, yeah, I mean, I think it's it's fine. I you know it's in the morning, so typically mm-hmm. there's not unless I'm like on a flight or like have to can't make it. I mean, you could usually call in in the morning on Saturday yeah. and it's not going to be really a conflict. So, I mean, we just leave it for now and then. Okay. All right. So well, we just try, we try to be considerate of each other. So for sure. No, I appreciate it. Thank you. Absolutely. We can go back up to um, item F. What are our thoughts on that day for the, I haven't, I just put it out there really for a discussion, not locked in um, for the next drive through shred event. And to also do like we're what like what we plan to do for the street fair to just do that same thing at the shred event take the shreddables and then hand them a, a flyer for the um, election you know respect well for the people who live in our area of course but what do you think about um, that date or do you want to move it into February what are your thoughts on that or a different day I know there's a shred event coming up um, I think November. John Maziota got a flyer in the mail. I think it was for November Shred event. Oh, what? Co- who's that? What company? He's a real estate agent. Oh, okay. All right. So there's one in November, and that's and that the reason why I put this on here is because I think we all have had multiple experiences now where we schedule a Shred event, um, and then it turns yeah. out the church down the street is having a Shred event, and then someone else is having a Shred event. So there seems to be Shred event conflict. Yeah. I think it's a matter of just finding out when the shred events are going on in the next couple of months and then mm-hmm. just put a list and then pick a date there so it doesn't that. conflict. Okay, yeah, so I'm going to check our usual, um, the ones that we usually run into. And um, council member, see, council member Lee's shred event is great, but it's at his office. Uh, so I can find out if they can participate at but I have to verify because there's always some sort of issue sometimes with certain views and issues and all that. We're just trying to serve the public, but we don't want to get into any conflict of any kind. So that's why it's good for us to fly solo. And, and by the way, our Granada Hills videographer, I called him out on behalf of us. I, I asked him, why have you never uh, attended our shred events? I see all these this footage you share with everyone about all these events, but this is a great event. People really appreciate it with all the the hackings and everything people appreciate appreciate this he says well you never asked and i didn't know i had to ask him i thought I just shut up so with that being said, i want to make sure that we get on his calendar so because that's great publicity for us to send this video to like everybody in the you know the chamber and the community so we, we awesome. do need more public posts. My, my wife always complains. She says, you know, people are asking me when the next shred event is, you know, I, I, you, you guys never put it on next door. You never put it anywhere. And people are constantly be sending me messages. Your husband's on the board. When's the next shred event? How come you guys aren't advertising and posting it? So I know that we need to, uh, when we do choose a date, as soon as we choose that date, we need to just put it on blast. Okay. So you think it's better for us to put it out? Like, because I know the last one we had a decent amount of attendance. And then there was one before you joined the board, Graham, over when we were back over at that plaza. That man, we worked so hard that day. We and we had hundreds of cars that came that day, remember? So uh, I think the further out, as long as we don't conflict with another shred event, the further out we book it gives enough time for good signage in the community. Because we can't put community signage if we only have like a like a month. We need a little bit more time than that. Uh, so a good good point good point so maybe we'll maybe we'll uh target a day let's see a day in february subject to the um subject to dunn's outreach plan for the elections because we never quite know what they're doing (laughs) so we just need to know what are the specific dates for the registration this like a candidate registration date and all that so let's Say, why don't I make a motion that we um, tentatively like like February eighteenth or twenty fifth or something like that? Right, like February eighteenth or twenty fifth, um, subject to the candidate registration. How? Why don't we say? Let's say um, February twenty. So February eighteenth, 
is the day it's after Valentine's Day and it's right. the, it's President's Day weekend. Is President's Day is on Monday. Ooh, that's good, Graham. Okay. So okay, so I'll make a motion to change it to February 18th, subject of verification um with the boat with, with the companies and done, which will the uh Saint Euphrasia done and um Saint Euphrasia done and uh the um Shred, uh, shred company. So 18. That's far out enough. We should be good. And verification um, that there are no other shred events on that day. Or can you tell people like 80,000 new IRS agents? Do you really want them to find your paperwork? <laughs> 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 Get down to the shred of it. Get those papers shredded before the IRS comes. Out. Yeah, two months before taxes are due. That's hey, that'll, that'll get their attention. <laughs> yeah. How did you buy that Bentley? <laughs> that is good. Okay, so that means I have a. So can I have a second on this one then? Second. Okay, thank you. All right, that's very good. <laughs> that's very funny. Okay, all right. So to the point of uh, Mrs. Anna Lester. So uh, item G, discussion and motion. Uh, to approve types of election outreach materials and locations. What do you think? Intersection stores, um, we've got Knollwood Plaza, and we have, um, we could still go to Granada South territory, even though it's not in our boundary. This is, this is for places to put uh, like pamphlets, like well, places? Because there's a certain amount of posters that Dunn's supposed to give us, you know, last, uh, I think it was that 2019 and I think 2019, specifically, there were posters they allowed us to put in stores. Um, so we could go to a cleaners, for example, and have them ask them if they would allow us to put it in the store. Um, we could definitely use Brian to help us on that by put, having them placed in the businesses in the Knollwood Plaza. And then also in the uh, over by Casa de Pizza in that area as well. And even at the schools, um, because we have students that live within our boundaries and teachers that live within our boundaries as well and and all the places of worship and the golf course and the golf course that's a good one yes the golf course okay actually because we that? actually don't have uh businesses in granados i was thinking of chatsworth and i was like wait that's not even our district that's not yeah even. right so, Ours is even so we yeah. don't have any businesses yeah. really that's right so we have the so we have Nolwood um plaza Golf, we have the golf course, Nolwood Plaza, the little, uh, the San Fernando Mission and Woodley stores. And then the, yeah, any places of worship, I guess, or. And then we have uh, numerous places of, of, of faith places, uh, places of worship. And there's a gas station. Uh, there's two gas stations. Two gas stations. No, at the, is one, right? Do, isn't at what Rinaldi and Balboa? How many is this? Two there's three gas stations. I don't know. But if two are south of they, Rinaldi, if that's two are south, I, one's north. I okay. think they are property that are it goes it dips down because I remember that intersection. I remember thinking south of that intersection was still part considered Granada Hills North. That by that because, freeway because north, so it's north of the 118. So as long as it's north of the 118, yeah, it's ours. That, Either way, there's going to be people that live in Granada Hills North right. that go to all those I mean, gas stations. I mean, everyone, <laughs> everyone in Granada Hills North goes to the the stores, and that gym down there is a big one too. The one at uh, in the Trader Joe's. I know it's not called that, but that's what they call it, the Trader Joe's Plaza. There's a um, Planet a Fitness gym. or something. Yeah, Planet Fitness over there. So yeah, that's a good one too. Um, our vet. That's where I take my my my, my dog that passed away and the current dog. Um, so that, so that plaza over there as well. So we'll put Trader Joe's Plaza. What about, so you said we could do it in Granada South then? We can. I mean, I, I, I wouldn't oversaturate it, but I think it would be good for us to do that. Or, uh, what do you think about us having a table one weekend to do that type of outreach and, and like we did before one of those, uh, one of the special meetings we had for Plum, where we were outside the CVS. We were outside the CVS, 
and yeah. we were handing out. So maybe somewhere, I mean, we can, we don't have to do that right now, but just in general, what would you think about that? Just maybe, maybe, maybe not a whole day. Um, if we do the street fair and we do, if we do out, if we conduct outreach at the street fair and we conduct outreach at the, um, at the shred event and we have posters and maybe one street banner, if we can make it work, we got to find out from John's office who would do that for us. I think one street banner, maybe at Rinaldi and Balboa might be a good idea as well. Yeah. I, I would agree because it's heavy traffic. And and the last one, which would which would hit like everywhere also, um, it's probably the cost has probably gone up a bit. But what would your thoughts be for our election? Our election day is in May. Is that right? Is that what the they, they switched it a couple of times? Uh, let me look. I think it's the second week in in May. If if I'm accurate, the cycle. I should have just a thought, just uh, maybe ask new members this uh, this term if they remember what got their attention to the board. Okay. I don't. I don't remember how I came. Honestly, I don't remember your how picture I came just turned it. up. All of a sudden, there was a picture. I was like, "Who's that?" And then I saw Graham. I remember I said, "Oh, okay." But I don't remember like where. I think I saw something, and I said about coming to board meetings, and I said, "Why go to the board meetings if I can sit on the board?" There you go. Um, Actually, but I, I don't remember where. Yeah, when I we before we closed on our house, I actually looked up the board and called some some of you guys, some of the members, and talked to them about mm. the neighborhood and did my research. You know, uh, mm. especially especially concerning the landfill, that was my main concern. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, okay. Because I saw the proximity and where our house was, and I was like, eh. Um, but. So, so my thought is, so this is, so this is a big win for us and we do have the funds already approved. Granada month, monthly, a full page ad um, at the last time I checked the pricing was $250. So let's say it went up to $300. We, we have an aggregate amount, which is great. So we can, we, we just need to put, you know, the, the, an election flyer. Uh, we have to make sure we have the right language in the community outreach um, to not because, um, we can't, we can't campaign. I mean, we can put our own ad as a, as a candidate, but the Granada monthly for 200, $300, even if it was $400, that's a great way to be in homes on the table because it's a magazine. So it doesn't usually just get thrown away. People will flip through it. And um, that's, you know, several of the businesses used it for a number of months and really picked up their, their patronage. <laughs> do you like uh, that idea? That's a good idea. Yeah. Okay. I do. So, okay. So we've got um, posters at Granada Golf Course, Knollwood Plaza, San Fernando Mission and Woodley, Trader Joe's Plaza, a street banner, um, places of worship, and the Granada Hills Monthly. Okay. That sounds good. Okay. All right. Okay. So uh, on item G, uh, we have all our so uh, motion. Um, may I have a second? Second. Okay. Thank you. And um, all in favor? Aye. Aye. You. Okay. Okay. All right. And then item H is additional funds we we have 2500 from uh, that's specifically approved for um nc elections in our budget that we just approved for the board so just as just airing on the side of caution um i'd just like to add an extra 2500 dollars for election uh, outreach um and then uh if if done says, well, we're, we're going to do X, then maybe we don't need it, but we know how we have to deal with the city clerk all the time. So I suggest that we, that we put this on here. And then if they're going to, when they determine how much they're going to give us, then maybe we might not need, maybe we might not need it, but this way we're prepared. 
Is that okay with everyone? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Great. Okay. Uh, may I have a second? A second. Okay. And uh, second. All, yeah, thank you. And all in favor? Aye. 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 Unanimous. Okay. And lastly, the, the, the fun piece, which we discussed a little bit last two months ago, uh, item I, discussion, planning, and thoughts for the 20th anniversary celebration, GHNNC 20th anniversary celebration sometime in 20. Inspiring ideas. We discussed doing it um, after the Santa Andas kind of blow by, so to speak, right? Like All right. In, in like April, May or something like that. That's mm -hmm. what I was thinking. Okay. We should have the Granada Hills Wind Festival. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bring your kites. <laughs> kites, pinwheels. You could have little pinwheels yeah. everywhere. <laughs> that is very good. <laughs> uh, that's great. That that's great. Call it the Granada Hills Dust Bowl. <laughs> 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 very true very true oh, man. so you know it takes time i i discussed uh i saw sharon from uh, uh council member lee's office who handles some of the outreach and uh, she was suggesting um that as much time as possible to to plan you know an event because it does take some obviously she would be uh partnering with us and definitely um you know graham will be a major um uh be, be the I think the lead on the entertainment piece of that and you know how much we we can get from the board of supervisors from, from the councilman's office from the board of supervisors from the state assembly state senate all all that's going to play into uh, because we would have to pay if we have some eight well not I don't know eight well, Graham what are your thoughts on that as far as performers yeah I think um as far as planning to it, the further out would be better, like April, May, even in May or whatever, and okay. um, securing funds for it, or you know, like you just said, um, I would, I would say start in after the holidays at okay. this point, um, okay. in January, because no one's gonna really, right? I mean, it's just uh, the rest of the year is kind of dead at this point, right? Um, and then you know, so that gives what four months or so mm -hmm. should be hopefully enough. Um, and then, you know, like we, we had talked before about not making it like crazy big where you need to bring in like a lot of staffing um, for it. But, right. you know, just the, the main things is like bathroom access, like vendors, what like food and beverage, if that was going to be a part of it. Um, right. And then any other vendors, basically all the vendors and then the entertainment and like, okay. you know, a stage and, you know, whatever. And I have all those connections and can take care of that whole part of it. Um, okay. I would rec uh, recluse myself from, um, you know, Fund. on funding or any of that for the entertainment options. Um, okay. But that piece of it, I can, I can handle and, and secure whatever it just, you guys would have to determine how, you know, where those funds go and how that is being allocated. So, um, right. But that's i mean in my mind that's about it really i mean i don't i don't really see i mean that pretty much sums it up right i mean power um, location the physical, yeah what the location? location um which we had discussed was what the golf course the golf course or, would be preferable i think the golf course makes sense yeah, yeah that I might be it we may and, and we may have to push it out more i know uh when we um uh, Mirka from who's handling the our, our our voting location said that unfortunately there is a wedding the day of the uh, that would be our election so um, she's working on O'Melveny now for that so for the celebration we're thinking about um, we 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 need to figure out if the golf course is not available do we just Maybe maybe work with them to see what dates they do have available to see if that works. With that was good, so. or or the other thing, um, maybe make a note of. I think would be great. I mean, I walk by there all the time. Is is Van Gogh um, Elementary and the, their whole lot in the back? 
Okay. It is. I, I noticed that the other, uh, the other day when I was driving, I made note of that. You're right. It is a, it's a pretty giant space and it's all flat and it's accessible from four different sides and there's available street parking all around it. Yeah. Uh, so that, that could be a, a good alternative option. Um, but yeah. And also if it was at the golf course, that could also be a good kind of test run for the bigger larger... you would want to do with the art jazz thing or art fair. Or okay. Whatever. All right. And then would we want to have also, uh, you know, it's like we keep kind of flip-flopping back and forth with this whole COVID issue and the masks and everything. So would we be thinking of uh, interior, you know, it, having, uh, if we're having speeches and, and recognitions and, you know, obviously we're going to invite people who may sort of board members who are still, you know, living, who are interested in attending as well. So do we, you know, weather's one of those things we usually don't have rain, but you know, it can, it can pop up. So what, what are our thoughts on that tent inside or outside or a little bit of both? Um, you would, pop -ups. I'm thinking, and it, it gets, it starts to get expensive, but you're making me think of how the Oscars set theirs up. Yeah. This is bigger than the Oscars, AJ. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there is, it, it, I don't, I mean, that probably wouldn't be an issue, but even if with the sun and stuff, I mean, it would be good to have There's some shade. Yeah. Pr pretty much yeah. everything, everything covered, like the state, like a stage mm -hmm. would be covered, the vendors would be covered. And then there may be like a, a one additional larger tented area. You know, okay. I don't all know. Right. I mean, that's just an idea. I mean, it does get expensive though, getting all the yeah. tents what, and stuff. What do we want to make and 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 uh, as and to add a twist to this, do we want to make it? Do we want to make it a get like a like a red par carpet gala? Not gala, but you know, like something a little bit. Today's red carpets are a little bit more relaxed than the old red carpets where people are. In Maybe yeah. Actually, I um, when I was at the Solar Dawn event, we we had kind of a setup where we had the background sitting up for a photo booth like we should have a photo booth okay oh, that's a good I, idea what do you what do y'all think of that i think it's a cool idea a photo booth with the ghnnc anniversary maybe and if there's yeah, sponsors yeah. you put the sponsors on that um photo booth background and why don't we make something fun for our board members too to kind of why don't we make like a banner design sort of not a contest, but like let have everyone submit a design and then we vote on the one we like the best for the the, the 20th anniversary banner. Okay. That's good. And I'm just throwing this out there. Uh, yeah, I know somebody that does like floral walls. They're, they're usually they, where people take pictures, like you know, they have a like backdrop like they did for the for events. This is mm -hmm. what she does for a living. Okay. And uh, if we have like a certain budget, if you wanted to do like the banner, but actually like surround it with like a floral thing, uh, I could find out, you know, what that would be depending on the size, how much she would charge for that. She does events all over LA, just like what she does for a living. Those are uh, beautiful. I, I saw, I've seen a few of those, a number of those now. My daughter had one at her wedding or at their wedding. And uh, there was one at my grandson's graduation. So, I don't yeah. think they're too crazy. She does the she you know, puts them up, tears them down. But if we have like a, a, a banner with the sponsors and everything, I just think it's a nice touch to have like a full thing around it. Yes. To mm -hmm. it off makes it look like really like, and people will be pushing to take pictures in front of it. It makes it a little yeah. bit more jazzy. Right. Yeah, I agree. Okay, and then we could use Mister uh, Mister Granada Hills, the videographer photographer for the. We have you to know. ask him. We have to ask him to be there. We well, can't just assume. Charge. He'll, he'll, he'll be charging for that, but that's okay. We, so we, we can ask him to do it for free. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> yeah, okay. So photo booth with a floor of uh, 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 the banner with photo booth and floral wall, Jason? 
floor walk? Yeah, yeah. And if you know the size of it, I can ask her. She'll give me an answer immediately and, okay. and some ideas. I mean, she's okay. well, if we know I have like a budget, I could say we're looking to spend this much. What do you think you could do? Okay. Um, she's fantastic. So why don't we break up this? This is this is actually a fun thing for us to do. Why don't we each take a piece to to get the quotes on? So maybe Graham, entertainment quotes like I ideas of you know what like like top entertain like uh, well we have different levels of entertainment yeah that's um, kind of um you know i'd like to get i guess some feedback i just you know knowing where to start you know um, okay i mean if it doesn't really matter about the names you know of like if someone's like a name act you know like a bigger yeah act and, i don't you know, yeah so i don't, don't think know. the people in granada hills can i think it, because we're in Granada Hills, I don't pe think people will push that as much. I think they're looking right. for more for, um, of course, we would okay. love to hear from you, though. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I actually think what would be great is more of like some nice atmosphere music, more like, you know, that you would have it um, like a like a wine jazz thing or something. You know what I mean? Like where it's okay. it, 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 it's like basically a variety of music and genres. But something that's not like Head a total, like, like like a show, you know, like right. where like people can like hang out and like walk around and talk and everything, and they're not just like it's like you go to a show and you're like, you know, it's True. like the whole that's the main focus is like some you know okay music. music. Um, so something more, I, I don't want to say background, but kind of like half that's what I was say background. Well, well, in other words, you want so you want it present, but not primary. It'll right present, like people but... like like amazing musicians but that are like like the quality is like in, incredible and they're doing recognizable songs and things and whatever like a Maybe. cover band well yeah i mean so like yeah like for instance my bit like one of what i do like my business is like you know we customize like a boutique sort of collection collective of musicians for private events special events weddings corporate events where which is similar to this that would you know put together specific instrumentation of like amazing session you know la musicians some with like notable names that can do you know all different sorts like everything from like the great american songbook and jazz latin standards to you know uh r b soul even to some like beatles and some more recognizable modern stuff um so it's yeah like covers but in sp like more modern arrangements of you know that are like musical like modern arrangements that are cool and like you know some solo stuff and you know whatever going on at the same time so it's not you know has a flair you you'd like recognize the songs but like has a flair of of like originality to it because you're doing it in different styles and different arrangements and things like that um and then whether you know you have instrumental music would be more uh like more of a background thing and, and less distracting than when you add vocals in my professional experience over the years like doing this for events for a living it's like once you have vocals it's more of like a show and it, and people tend to like gravitate obviously towards that and it becomes more like this focused like show. Right. Um, so you could do, you could do a little bit of both, I think, and like add a vocalist for part of it and make it more of a feature, like later on toward the end of the event, you know, kind of build up to that. Mm -hmm. Um, so, so maybe there, when people are eating, more... well, I don't know if they're going to, how we plan the, the food eating. Um, mm -hmm. but that would be a good time. What do you think about that? When people are walking around, instrumental is definitely good because they can right. focus on like, if there's. If the local artists, if we add the local artists um, for a little, for, for, for them, um, it's nice for people to be able to think about what they're, what they're reviewing and study study the pieces without vocals. That's an excellent point about. I've never thought thought about that before. Yeah, I mean, it's a it's a it's kind of a subconscious thing and, and a psychological thing that I just definitely noticed over the years of, of doing this and just like how I recommend to my clients and things. Um, and, you know, I guess it also depends on the duration of how long the event is and would you want music right away from the starting till the very end or for part of it and how many hours that would be, that's all factors into, and if, and if it would be, you know, one group or 
multiple groups and how long each of those sets would be. Um, that's kind of also, and I, I mean, I, honestly, that all depends on uh, budget, I guess, really. Right. Um, sure. If, you know, if it's one group, I, I mean, I don't know. I don't know how long the event would be, but I would, we, I usually cap it at like one group playing for like three to four hours because okay. after four hours, it's, it's, you get pretty exhausted. Of playing so you think two long. hours would be good? I mean, you all, I mean, I think on average, we all have, have, have you know, uh, attend, you know, are out a lot. So, mm -hmm. I mean, two hours seems reasonable. I mean, what do you think about, sometimes yeah. if you get too far out, people get tired or. I'd say like, less is more. Like the, you mean the duration of the actual event would be two hours? Or? Right. Do okay. you think that's yeah. a good amount? I, I would time? say less, less is more. Yeah. yeah, I think I I, th I was going to say like, yeah, like two to three hours max, okay. I mean, you know, okay. I mean, I don't, you know, two hours can kind of go by fast and people show up late and whatever. So maybe three, three, maybe three. I don't know. I mean, it's, mm -hmm. it's up to what everyone would want, but right. I'd say two to three um, for sure. I and then if that, two to three. Yeah. And then if it's in that, if that's the case, then yeah, I think it doesn't really make sense to have more than, I mean, if it's going to be not like, you know, something that would be longer in the future when we have the, like if we were going to do a music and, and like a festival a festival thing mm -hmm. would be longer, like an all day thing. And right. you have multiple acts and they would be name acts and be doing more original music where this is more of a celebration. I would look at it as more of like a, like what we do for special events or corporate events where it's like, you know, you would have one band that would provide like a nice ambiance and atmosphere right. for the event that gives it this like, festive you know good vibe with right. like with like live music there and then right. it would be recognizable songs from ro kind of rolling through the eras and covering everything which is what we usually do to would because everyone's of all different demographics and ages and and styles and everyone likes different music so it's kind of a little something for everyone that's nice. That's, you know, inclusive. That's right. exactly. mu musically inclusive of all. That's great. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. That's nice. Okay. AJ, more to add? Thoughts? Mm -hmm. No, I think, no, I think I've added, I think I've added a pretty reasonable contribution. Okay. And so we've got the firewall. So, um, so we'll have the, uh, so I will do the location um checking into the location um jason will do the photo booth bram will do the entertainment and um i guess aj if you could please contact um the uh well uh councilman belize office and and then um it's what called the hmm? so contact cd 12 for sorry what and that would be sharon bronson because she's our contact there for entertainment. Okay, and what do you need me to contact her for? Just to just to give her an idea. We'd like to for to have, oh, by the way, if we're gonna meet with her, she did make a point. Um, she sent me an email. It would need to be during the week. So I guess we would have to have if we wanted to have an outreach meeting with her. I think because of the city requirements that it's Monday through Friday or something. So we'd have to have her in to um to get her feedback for the logistics of of the district and what we have available to us that we might not be thinking of and if there's any issues that she would be able to share with us okay so as. you need so do you need me to contact her to see if we could set up if we could arrange to have her at the next outreach meeting to discuss this well yeah tell her you know what we're looking at i mean our locations that we're looking at are preferably um a couple of places uh, the Van Gogh, either the the golf course, which we know is county, but she can make the connection. Uh, Van Gogh Elementary School um, parking lot, and then also the some another location we didn't think of uh, is the Odyssey. So those are three places. Yeah. Okay. So so Van Gogh Elementary. Right. And that would be the principal. I don't know who the principal is there now, but the principal there. The Odyssey, and what was the other one? Uh, the Nola Country Club. 
Okay, so do, so do you want me to email her proposing these spots, or do you want me to email her to set up the, to set up the meeting? Because well, well, two things. It's two separate subjects. So if you could please just ask her, um, just share with her, um, per your you know the conversations regarding the twentieth anniversary celebration for Grand Island North. These are our proposed locations. Could you please? Um, be the liaison in connecting us with the appropriate party for each of these locations. And then what I'll do is, is um, I'll be happy to, con if I need, and then I'll happen to do the contact or you could do that as well. I also will be contacting, um, I think it's council district. I think it's council district, it's current prices district where they do a huge, um, like an all day, like like block wide jazz festival um, in their community. So I'd like to just reach out to them um, and to ask for some just a little bit of their guidance because they do this every year and it's always incredibly successful. So that will help us um, put together a successful event. Okay, but while I but while I make the contact, uh, do you want me to ask to ask her? If she could be a part of our um, maybe the next outreach meeting, because you also because we yeah. also want to make sure we discuss this like openly with our committee. Well, right, because we have to discuss it. And before we take it before the board, we need to have all of our homework done. So we're like today we're really we're planning and strategizing and then we'll all do our homework and then we'll meet together one more time um, and then we will. Um, take it to the board. I guess that would be the February board agenda since we're not having or well, I'm putting the cart before the horse, but should the board approve um, the recess uh, of New Year's, then we would have our next board meeting in February. We'll have a board meeting in November. And then we'd have a board meeting. Actually, we would have a board meeting in December. I take that back. We would we would I believe we would have a board meeting in December too. So we have a cup November and December. And then um, subject to board approval, of course, January board meeting we would not have. Okay, so I just want to. So you would be asking her availability for a future, like just let's find out what schedule works for her. And then of course, what works for all of us and to see what we could put together. Maybe three date availabilities would be good. So availability for her to, to, to set up us. a special meeting or for her to join us? Uh, to join us, if it's a if we need to do a special meeting for her, we would. And then we would need to some some dates after April, as we discussed after the the wind, after the wind festival is over. So we'd be looking beyond April, probably the further out, the better. I think we all agree, right? Yeah. And for the uh, for the entertainment part, just thinking logistics. So it'd be basically, you know, I could put like a quote together for, so it'd be like for the, like, are we gonna do that? I mean, I guess if it was outside, you'd need a tent. Uh, but I don't think you need you would need a stage, right? Um, I think it's just on where, wherever level, um, probably, and then the band and all the equipment and like no lights because it would be during the daytime, right? Right, that's a good point. Yeah. Um, like actually, the that that is a good point. Like, what time of day would it be at? Any ideas? Like, yeah, um, I think. We because at that time it'll be it will be into daylight. We'll, we'll be back to st uh, standard time where it gets dark later. Mm -hmm. So, do you think? Uh, mm, gosh, our, our weather's so unpredictable. You think maybe like a like a like a five well like a five to six event, six to eight event. I mean, I mean, I, I mean if it's on a weekend, I would say earlier. Oh, I would okay. say that too because a lot of people like to go to have events to go to later. Right. Okay. And, All di right. and dinner and traffic. Um, I would say, you know, maybe like one p.m., one to three or something. One to three. Okay. One to three or one if if it's a 
if it's a three hour event, then one to four. Yeah, or 12 to three or something like that. Yeah. Okay. All right. That's good. That's kind of an average time, actually, for a lot of those festivals. Yeah, so exactly. Maybe like a 12 to three. Yeah, I think that's good. Two. Okay. So that would be the timing. So we just need a date. We have a time. We need a location. And we need the connections, the connections to the locations. Okay. And so I'll I'll deal with the um, the uh, like what kind of permitting do we need? I'll work with Anne Marie on that. Anne Marie Holman. So we need the permitting uh, BACs event form okay just to make sure we know how we're filling that out insurance okay so that comes from that will come from the city sharon could help with that too as well so okay all right sounds good that sounds great i'm excited you could actually um per there's a site too, you can purchase event insurance pretty easy. Yes, I know. Jeff Covid Insurance, yeah, yeah. Yeah, RV News. Oh, you're yeah. you're the insurance person <laughs> talking to the insurance person there. That's true. That's you know, I think the city uses. I, I could be wrong, but I believe on a list of vendors, I think they were on there for a list the city had provided um, for the event insurance for a one day event policy. So, yeah. Cool. All right. Very good. Well, this has been fantastic. We went, we 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 started at uh, was it ten oh seven, and uh, so we will start with uh, committee member announcements. Great, great, uh, great, great, great discussion. So we are on committee member announcements. Announcements. Uh, we'll start with uh, you, Mr. Waters. Um, not really any announcements. I'm just going to be joining an interesting webinar on real estate investment it's about it's going to be a three-hour webinar actually at 12 o'clock it's called subject to deal finding so it should be interesting made a little investment in it so what i learned okay all right and uh mr zach uh not any real announcements great meeting uh, it was very productive and good to see you all Good to see you. All right. And Mr. Lester. Uh, no announcements. Um, there was one thing I was going to mention. We we're talking about this, and I don't want to uh, use up any more time, uh, but I'm just throwing this out. Uh, I don't know if the idea had floated. I used to wonder in the past why we didn't do events in tandem with Granada Hill South. So I mean, they're also celebrating the same 20 year mm. I, I didn't know if that was if there was any interest in making it just granada hills in general and involving granada hills south i know right we don't, i don't have right any you know, uh, okay i tell you what uh let's do this um i am going to um hold the thought of we're going to adjourn the meeting but uh let's let's just adjourn the meeting <laughs>